Here's a quick screencast showing how you can recover or copy voicemails from your iPhone onto your Macintosh. First step is to download uh, iPhone iPod Touch Backup Extractor. It's a free download available from supercrazyawesome.com. Recommend also donating to show a little gratitude to the author. Once you've downloaded the application, you're going to want to run a backup on your iPhone. That's just a, simply a matter of plugging your iPhone in and synchronizing it. Every time you sync, iTunes makes a backup of your iPhone. This isn't going to work if your iPhone is encrypted, so make sure you've chosen to, you've not chosen to encrypt it. Once the backup is made, you can launch iPhone Backup Extractor. Click Read Backups. This will bring up a list of the various iPhones you've synced with your computer in the past. Today I'm going to be recovering a voicemail from iPhone, Scott's iPhone and that backup I just made today. So I'll choose that. The application name list will be populated with all the different applications on my phone. You want to scroll down to iPhone OS files and click Extract. It'll ask you where you want to do it. I'm going to put it on the desktop. And you'll see it then opens up the directory and shows all the iPhone OS files are extracted to your desktop. Note these are not coming off of your iPhone, they're coming out of the backup made for, from iTunes, so your iPhone doesn't need to be connected. From here we're going to go to Library, scroll down to Voicemail, and you'll see this is a list of all the voicemails that are still on my iPhone. Each one of these uh, numbered files that ends in AMR is uh, one of the voicemails. You can double click on it and it'll open up in QuickTime and play. Unfortunately, they don't open in iTunes. That's everything you need to know to extract a voicemail from your iPhone. If you have any uh, solutions or tips that makes this even easier, go ahead and send them to me, scott at scottbrenner.com. Thanks.